Good Friday. I'm Brad Edwards. We're getting exclusive look at video that may show a fire bug. Doesn't take long for smoke to fill the hallway of a building on Jewelers Row. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross takes us through what the video shows. Jeremy? And Brad, one business owner here putting it very well. If this building can survive civil unrest, a pandemic, and multiple recessions, it certainly can deal with a fire. But the biggest concern going forward is what's going to happen after people see this video. The alarms went off. The CFD was right there. Surveillance video shows the smoke building inside Chicago's Mauler's building. Outside, crews battled the heat and flames. I was given a call. Security manager Leonard Nora takes us through the video he believes shows where it began. This is our perpetrator coming in. And who is responsible? Is there any doubt in your mind this is the guy who set this place on fire? I have no doubt in my mind. That video showing him entering the building around 2.15 Thursday morning, checking in with security. She asked the gentleman to sign in. You have the name of the person? It was a false name. He goes up to the 10th floor. There are about 200 tenants in the building. Most are jewelers. The person stopping to open one business's door. We believe he might have had some set of keys. Do you reason to believe that this is someone who worked at one of the businesses or might be related to someone who owns the business? It's a possibility. About four minutes after leaving, the hallway fills with smoke. First responders would follow. We had a little fire upstairs, but we're back all in business. The lingering smell of smoke fails to dull the shine of watches at Howard Fromm's jewelry store. He's been here 42 years, adding the shop has been through more than a possible arson nearby. Tenants here, we're all survivalists. We're not stopping now. We're just going to keep going. About 200 firefighters helped to contain the damage. Two were treated at a hospital after one person left a floor where it is believed to have started. He should go to jail and pay for the crime. What do you hope happens to him? Um, justice is served. The Chicago Fire Department telling us they've handed over their information to Chicago Police Department and ATF. CPD not giving us a lot of information at this point on time. No word on if anyone is in custody in connection with this ongoing investigation. Live in the Loop, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News.